Well, what a pleasure it was in these rock pools today. The viz was extremely good. Sunlight streaming through. And I was immediately introduced to the world of the urchin. First off, the most obvious were the needle urchins. These frightening looking balls of spines. with many, many intricate moving parts. This eye-like appendage is actually the anus, which is attached to the top of the carapace or test. And the mouth is actually underneath. And I saw this weird iridescent blue striping These needle urchins wave the spines quite aggressively at would-be intruders into their personal space. And as you can see, quite formidable barbed spines. This individual is an oval urchin. They come in many color variations, and this one is a pretty ivory color. Much shorter, more conical spines, far more organized looking. This is a banded urchin with two distinct types of spines. And then I ventured into the world of the short-spined urchin. These guys collect basically junk from the bottom of the rock pools, spent shells, razor clams, and actually hold these onto their bodies with their tube feet. They're the most mobile of the urchins, not being hindered by spines, but they have to disguise themselves because they don't have the scary array of spikes like the other species do. This one with a couple of pebbles. This one's slightly more way out and extravagant. A very purple piece of seaweed attached to the top. This particular individual with a nice piece of man-made material that it's found and really out on its own, 